It's like 40 bucks. Anyway, pink and matching pink, supposedly new in here. That reserve helped. I don't know about that yet, but pink in the box and pink. That's pretty crazy. The Crazy Picker Life with Wheeler, Dealer, and Banana Peeler. Good morning, fellow pickers. Would be adventurers, dealer with the Crazy Picker Life. Well, we are on the hunt again it's Friday morning. We've been on the road here for a little while and stopped at a few places. Today we are heading up the eastern side of the Nebraska junk jaunt looking for goodies. And we're heading to Burwell. It's about 48 miles away. In, uh, in Burwell, there's sails all the way up and down. Burwell, there's a nice uh, fairgrounds up there. It's sort of at the top of the sail. We found good stuff up there. That's sometimes where some of the really good big items are, like signs and stuff. So we're going to head up there today. Looks like we got uh, Wheeler and Banana Peeler looking at some watches they just bought at a little storage unit booth. And so uh, we have an empty van, which is a good feeling. We left all the stuff in the hotel which is not a good feeling but it's the way you do it so this is what we start with totes and not much let's see if we can fill it up a little bit recording here a little bit pretty uh pretty countryside up here now, when you're in Nebraska, a lot of the roads up here, they double duty. They follow the uh, railroad tracks or vice versa. So almost everywhere you go on this loop, I think it was for farming, for collecting the grain and, and such. We'll be crossing these tracks and going up over crazy bumps and crevices. And you really got to watch the trains because they have... Uh, they have these crossings up here that, you know, they're marked, but there's nothing coming down, and these trains book through here. So I'm going to look today for some trailers. Some people really haul. They haul U-Haul trailers up here. Some people pick with their horse trailers. Some people have uh, vehicles as, uh, half vehicles as trailers. It's pretty amazing what people uh, pull up here, but... We are definitely starting to head up into some of the, you know, out there stuff. I don't know. We're going to cut through the middle of this big circle later today. And uh, that's some, some of the towns and places that time forgot. We aren't staying overnight up here. We've changed plans. Dealer got smarter. Didn't want to work harder and sleep in the van. That's just, we did that a number of years. And... I come out of this thing wrecked when I do that. I'm not interested in that today. So we're going to make an up and around and back today. Ought to be fun. Hope to find a lot. Everybody brings their uh, horse trailers in. And they just put it up by the barn. Get them, Wheeler. Get them. Get them, Banana Peeler. Get them. Ooh, sick BP. Got a score. Open it up. We got sick BP. Nintendo DSi. Nintendo DSi with manuals and box. Can you take that off there? Get a tote started. We don't know. We don't know what those go for anymore. But I'll stick that in the box there with it. Huh? Got my pocket watch in the box with it. Oh yeah, you got your silver Adventure. pocket watch for a couple bucks. A weird double back on it. What'd you pay, banana yeah. peeler? Ten bucks. Ooh, my thing's still back here. My my bridge plate is under there. Oh, we're getting arranged. We're getting in the mood. Don't wreck the bridge plate. All right, it's Wheeler, get in the car. Back, and then you got the double back, and single then you got back, the movement. Double back movement. But you figured out it was a silver case, yep, right? Silver case. Not a lot of those uh, pocket watches. And that brand also made gold cases. That one's not a gold case. Okay. So, 
we're novices at pocket watches, but uh, we've likened them to 95% of the box cameras out there are just not really worth it. They have a they have a neat visual, but they're not worth reselling. However, it's the 5% of box cameras where you make your money. The pocket watch is probably more like 20% or 15%. It's not quite as harsh. Okay, and some of them obviously have age and movement and high quality. Yep. The other thing to look out for that we're figuring out is gold and silver. Yeah. Would you say that's a yep. good summary? That's a good summary. Hey, I think you got a good score there. We'll yeah. have uh, Wheeler look that up. 10 bucks, probably sell for at least, what, 30, 40, 50, right? Yep. So you get a lot of little uh, cubby holes like this with stuff. Stuff, stuff, stuff everywhere. Like this uh, crazy retro barber chair. Koken's a good name, I think. It's a heavy duty one. Lots of stuff. Little stuff there. How are you? Good. I'll break your camera. You sure? Uh, pretty good. I've, I've done it before. <laughs> oh no. All right, I'll turn it off. Whoa, a, a quick arm. You like that kind of stuff. I love that. I was joking with that guy. He said, uh, I'll break your camera. And it's because he thought he was going to look at it funny or something. But afterwards, he thought I meant, he thought he meant that he was going to get strong armed with me. So we had a laugh about that. All right, still looking. Watch out for copyright. Watch out for copy. Ooh, yeah, it's got to start singing along. <laughs> You're right. Kind of like the sign up here. But I'm not into farm signs. Yeah, how do you want this? Well, I think I'll see it something hundred bucks. For a dealer. Dealer sign. Alright, nothing that we're after here. Just having fun. Trying to get used to swinging the camera with people around, you know, talking to your camera, selfing it up. Some fine videography going on here. So Wheeler uh, likes to sometimes look stuff up after the sale and sometimes we don't coordinate very well. So I take off down the road and he says, whoa, 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 I should offer 10 on that. We could sell it for 50, for 60. And I'm not, uh, above whipping the vehicle back around and going and sending him back in there. So he went back in there after this spotting scope, which he said was a low cost one. And it was a low cost one, but you find uh, lower cost things that are in great shape with the case, never been used. Somebody got it as a gift. It's their backup, whatever. Uh, you know, 10 to fifth, $10 sell it for 50 that's worth it all day long so we'll see if we can get it done how's that turning out pretty good works but you should have checked it probably before we bought it yeah right? but they said it worked yeah we hardly ever had trouble with those kind of things we would pick, used to pick them up a lot more mm -hmm. but now that banana peeler's in the scene yep we got to get him off to some things that are a little off his uh drum beat now yep wheelhouse yep. here he is running 15 bucks oh 15 couldn't get the 10. no i try to go for 12.50 oh man i break your guy but really is it worth it yeah it's worth it it's a good one now yep it's a good one how much we sell for uh for 60 bucks plus shipping okay i'll i'll work with it yep you're running yep all right i don't want to look at it but you can I gotta get down the road. Whoa! Staring at people, man. Whoa, it's a Simmons. Whoa, Whoa. spot it, well, actually, spot it. Still All right, I gotta get on the road. <laughs> Good job, son. Yep. Good job, business partner. Good job, Wheeler. Good job, Banana Peeler. All right, so this is uh, Scotia. We got number four, five, and six here. So these are just a multiple sale, I guess. Got an aluminum. Aluminum Royal Crown Cooler, Mark 50. I'm gonna see if Wheeler can get it done. How'd we do? 40 bucks. So it's missing, stop. 
No, no, no. Just keep it up there. It's missing the, the drain plug, but it's got uh, nice graphics, Royal Crown cooler on both sides. It's a, it needs a little detailing and a little work, but that's a nice, that's a nice aluminum cooler. I would recommend bringing muscle along when you're shopping for coolers. Whoa! Cooler, so super weak. Super, super weak. Super light. Super weak. Super light. <laughs> super, as a, you're feeling weak? No. Already? It's, it's early, weak. man. We gotta hoof it. Cool. Well, I have a I have a thing for coolers, sort of. You can't tell. Really, you can't tell. I bought. I mean, if this is the third one I bought. <laughs> Still haven't found any, you know, super ones, but um, that's a good one. That'll be a hundred bucks if I wait. I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. I don't know. I'm making money. Whatever. Uh, whatever, you know. I just keep buying until I either hit my head against the wall so many times and get a dent or I just uh, keep moving forward. That's the whole deal. There it is, the garage sale. You are here. <laughs> you made the camera. Doing a bit of back roads today. Finding watches, finding a few goobers, looking for bigger scores. We just went through Scotia, about half of Scotia. Uh, no. Half of Scotia is a, apparently an, an Amish, or most, more, more realistically, it's a Mennonite uh, community. And so those people are very gentle people, very um, frugal people. And so not a lot of excess, lots of cooking ware, and uh, things that we can't really flip. So that was not a place to spend a lot of time. And I don't know if we've been there before. I don't think so. They also had some overpriced beer signs and an overpriced beer cooler. A Ham's cooler for 300, even though she saw it on the internet for 269. Yeah, she turned around to go back there. We missed it. I think we missed it. Is that one way back there? I didn't see anything for sale. Yeah. I did. I saw people. Yeah, there's some. Uh oh, dealers. It said three quarters a mile away. I don't. Know. Dealers yeah, losing it. Yeah. Did I miss it or is this it? It might be it. Let's go. This look. is it. That was in three quarters. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. 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 I like it when people say that. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yep. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, glad we kept going though. Glad we didn't turn around. <laughs> there it is. Oh, that's an old barn thing. Yeah. First one there. Let's see what we can get. There's a toilet. Up in the back. Oh. There's a banana peeler. Oh. I guess we're not sick of rummage sales yet because there's a rummage sale there. And then you can, BP said we can walk down there. Sick. Pretty cool old sign. I didn't bring my screwdriver though. It's not for sale. All right, still in North Loop. There's a Nebraska telephone company. One door in, no doors out. Number four, we're gonna walk down and then we're gonna go back and take care of a huge sale down there. Finding a lot of bread and butter. A lot of watches, some cameras, good stuff, but nothing, nothing worth showing. Like, ah, woo! Hopefully soon, but you never know. You just keep going. What was that? Ah. Wheeler's working. Uh, Negotiation going on. BP's looking on.
Well, he, had, he had to walk away once. He had to walk away once. They're back at it. Hey, Dad, do you have a dollar? Oh, he's coming out of my pocket. I think BP's got one for you. And he's down to his last dollar. He's getting desperate. Watchman strikes again. Whoa, we're going into the back room. Whoa. Whoa. Still not finding it. Oop, a buck antler mounting kit. Let's see. Well, back about 49 years ago, Nebraska had a centennial birthday, 100 years, I guess. And I'll have to do some research, but oh man. Blowing out. Uh, I guess you either had to wear a beard. What the heck are you doing? Find your bottle. So why are you doing that when I'm recording? I was doing that before you. <laughs> oh my gosh, 12. So anyway, at 100, yeah, it's like you were just doing it. You knew you were doing it. At 100, um, the 100 year anniversary, 1967. Nebraska Centennial you either had to have a beard or you ha apparently had to have a shave permit and I got five of these shave permit buttons and they look old on the back and I don't know the story but I would have fit right in I wouldn't have needed a shave permit all right I gotta go pick up my uh, I'm in the lampshade business or whatever the light right. sure. the uh, ceramic lamp business. I'll show you these in a minute. So these are ceramic uh, or whatever you call it, porcelain light shades uh, installed in 1958 I guess. A little bit newer white. These were in the boys locker room apparently. Most of them are in really good shape. Six for a hundred bucks. Hope that's a doubler. Somebody's gonna want those for their kitchen or whatever. Maybe a restaurant I hope. So we finally made it up to Burwell, Nebraska. This is at kind of the tip or the top of the junk jaunt. We're at the uh, fairgrounds here. And there's always a lot of good stuff here. Super, super windy out here and dusty. And it's been kind of a long ride up here. Hopefully we'll find a few things. I'll take the camera along. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get any shots because it's just super dusty, windy and crazy wind. Well, here is the windy, windy Funny story, this is out of the wind. Here's a funny story, the wind blew away my wind muff. Open both doors of the van, boom, blew right out. Didn't even know it. Now that I know what it looks like, I'm gonna have to make one myself. Not today. Here. Actually DIY tutorials on those. Okay, out of the wind for a minute. This I think is a, a real dealership car, a Galaxy 500. Pretty detailed and if you look underneath it, it appears to be the kind that has information on the bottom. This just happens to be like the desk model. It needs a little cleanup. I paid 20 out of what that's going to be. A tough one to get. We'll find out they might have made a billion of Okay, got a Coleman diamond cooler with Magilock pink. That's a pretty crazy color. And then, oh, oh my goodness! It did fly, but it the muff flew and it's way up on my dash. Woo! Woo! My forty dollar, my forty dollar. It did fly, but it did mustache muff. Man, I'm feeling better now because it was like 40 bucks. Anyway, pink and matching pink, supposedly new in here. That reserve helped. I don't know about that yet, but pink in the box and pink. That's pretty crazy. And I can't show you the other thing yet. Ah, because we got fun planned for that. Dural watch. Man, I was getting uh, I was getting kind of bummed about losing my muff. You know, super windy. 
and the stupid muff is there's nothing to it if I would have lost it I would make another muff <laughs> but uh, it blew it blew from here I had it in here and this little thing here it blew with the wind up around and up on my dash it like popped out of there up and popped there, up like, there and there. flopped in there now I'm gonna have to leave my muff on the camera all the time Done in Burwell, and we're trying to head to Sargent or some kind of a flea market. We can't totally remember which one it is. And then on to Broken Bow, cutting through the middle. Oh, here comes somebody. Cutting through the middle, it said uh, road closed nine miles out of a 27 mile trip. And so we didn't believe it and we got up there and sure enough it's closed with a detour they don't tell you about the detour when you enter it but we're on the detour and the good news about the detour is there is a detour the bad news is who knows how far it is and the detour actually looks worse and the road construction where the road was closed a little so they might have a bridge out or something we can't tell for sure for sure it's pretty crazy out here there's a crazy farmer yeah going like mad with his oh, tractor a detour that direction. oh he's coming this way straight towards him man look at that hill up there mm -hmm. wow that's quite a hill this is where i wish i had my jeep yeah all right i better make this corner that up there Look at so that. This guy hmm. has windmills and has his own private water slide. Big one. Right out there. Look at odd stuff. There's a big pad of like. There is no population, way. no towns within 10 miles of here so on either side. Trailer things are like airstreams. There it is. Got his own water slide. Windmill tails on all of them. And most of these aren't spinning today. A lot of these are damaged. I think I heard that this guy passed away. But he was in the windmill business out here for many years. It's about 40 mile an hour, 50 mile an hour gusts. Why windmills? Why not windmills? Is this sign? Yeah. Comstock Windmill Festival. Yeah, I think this is all gone and done now, but unbelievable. He's got. Uh, oh, this one collapsed. 40, 50 of them down here. Let's mm -hmm. see what this is. Oh man, barn collapse too. Comstockisback.com. Well, Crosswind Mercantile is down, man. Yeah, somebody might be doing something with this. But mm -hmm. I heard something that the guy that started it is no longer. Wow, that's an old one there. Yeah. Look at that one. It's crazy. To pull over and show that one. That is an oldie, and look at the stuff up there on that mm -hmm. one. Well, there's a horse up on the back. Yeah. Of it. That's got the whole uh, windmill weights and everything. Weights and the, it's really pretty. Windmill weights. Oh yeah, he's got all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Lightning balls, probably. That's got the stuff on the top there. That's really cool. Somebody coming over the hill to hit you there. I'm looking. <laughs> There's nobody out here because this road yeah, was true. had a detour on it. Mm -hmm. That one's really cool. Yep. So this is. Uh, this is just out in the middle of nowhere. That's a worse shape windmill weight. We're in the loop somehow. Alright, so this is Sargent. Flea Market, Sargent, Nebraska. And there's probably, I don't know, 20, 30 vendors here. We'll have to kind of go through. So we just picked up a stoplight, supposedly. It's a big one, and the guy says he thinks it's off a fire engine, which I could believe. He also has these really cool metal airplanes. That one's a couple hundred bucks. That one's 300 bucks. And that one's 300 bucks right there, 360. And only up here can you just sit here and grab $360 airplanes and pick them up and look at them with nobody watching you. It's amazing. I believe it. Some of those really, uh, really go for a lot. Lightning balls, that one's not too bad for 25 and 20. I've picked them up for less. All right, we found a couple good things here in Sargent. 
Yep. So I think we're going to look around town a little bit and then we got to get on to Broken Bow so we can look around there before everything closes. About half the people sleep at the fairgrounds with their stuff and the other half cover it up or abandon it or whatever. So on with the show. How's it going, Watchman? How many watches did you pick up here? Uh, I picked up three used ones and I picked up, let's see, 16 <laughs> new brand new ones. Oh my goodness sakes. Well, we're in Sargent. I think we're going to leave town here. Absolutely zero cell service available. I was just over in here at this uh, place where we picked up cameras and I was trying to look up a Bose wave machine thing. I think they go for some money, but I'm not going to pay, pay up for it without knowing how much they go for. Well, we got the hams, beer, light, smooth, mellow, and very rusty. Big, huge wall hanger, 100 bucks. I'm gonna go show you one that I made an offer of 900 on. I wish I would buy it at a thousand, but I just can't pull the trigger. Okay, so this IGA sign is in three pieces. It's all porcelain. He's at a thousand, I'm at 900. Should I have bought it? Put it in the comments. So you want to make it in this business, I guess. Uh, you come out before the vendors are open and when they're setting up. And you go home when the sun's setting and all the vendors are closing up. We outlast them on both ends. Here comes the train. Whoa, that's loud. slept over here a couple of times too and those damn trains sometimes they go every 15 minutes talk about being charred awake oh my goodness oh like a moth to a light these lights are drawing us in way across the parking lot these lights where are they oh there they are there's the moth lights they're drawing us in we must go see and bounce this camera. Well, BP today had its ups and downs. Hey, so, there's the van right there. Yeah, I know. We so what do you think? Yeah, okay. We need, okay we need some food, don't we? Yeah, you do. I'm not that hungry. <laughs> I haven't ate as much all day as I'd like, mainly because there's no food on the one side that's any good. So, uh, we lost Wheeler. He's lost in watches, probably looking for me because I have the money, although I gave him like 60 or 80 bucks to have it on his person. Who knows? We're trying to find our way up to the van here and get out of here. Ooh, it's uh, 745 and we're trying another to pile of stinky. Trying to avoid the dung piles Ooh. somewhere in the the sticks. We got a nice Cool evening. Looking pretty nice out there. Wind has died down to a calm 10 or 12 miles an hour from 40. Cicadas are growing. Almost feels like home. All right, we'll get in the van here and uh, see if we can find anything else to do. There he is. It looks so much brighter through the camera. It's actually almost dark out. Where, one where were you, chum? Yeah, I was wondering how long it been. I don't know. Oh. We missed you. Didn't keep you waiting too long. Right. Hopefully. Whoa. So, what did you get? Okay. Some knowledge? Just some fun uh, discussion? Some discussion, yeah. Did you get, get a date or a phone number? Yeah. Uh, interesting uh, business she's been down there. Oh, yeah. She's taking watches and making, uh, taking old watches and making new jewelry. Yeah, which I'm not sure if I entirely like it or not but well she's buying your she's buying your watches mm -hmm. maybe you should sell her some of our bad ones because I, I feel like I could have bought everything she had there and made money on it which is what I was that was my whole oh but I oh no so there you go. ever entrepreneurial yep. wheeler so we're running with the train here 
we're doing 65 and we're we're gaining on them. Trains move pretty quick out here. They do move pretty quick and none of these uh, none of these crossings here have anything more than lights. Some of them don't even have lights. You got to pay attention. Everybody that lives out here knows Look how good this camera is at night. I know it is. Yeah, no, that's one of the big advantages. Un unbelievable. I mean, it's um, it's not even one of the best. It's that's pretty average. It's 80 to 90, uh, 80 to 90 percent dark right now, and this camera makes it look like it's daytime. Mm -hmm. It's very dark right now. It's kind of cool running next to this train. Yep. Headlights on because it's dark. Can't tell with my muff. Is he over there? I think we beat him. Love this. Yeah. Super fun. Super fun if you're a train person. I'm the Blatz guy. I'm drinking a Blatz and I'm old and I'm a weird. Oh, I'm a weird. Oh, I am plastic. I'm a weird plastic guy. Oh my goodness, what do you have here, Wheeler? A cool egg-shaped watcher that cracked display. Yeah, but what's all this? A bunch of different watches, man. Good grief. <laughs> we'll see in the morning, I guess. Yeah, a little Casio here. Okay. Cool ones, man. All right, so we ended up missing supper at the hotel because we uh, stopped by this place that we couldn't get in yesterday. And I bought the Blatz Man and I don't know, a couple other things I can't find right now. <laughs> I gotta get this thing off here. This thing, I can't see through it. Okay, we're in the hotel. It's like pushing midnight. We ended up eating at Pizza Hut. Banana Peeler's getting some TV time. Wheeler's counting his chickens over there on the watches. Before they hatch. I already uploaded half my vlog and I forgot that I didn't end it. <laughs> One of those days, long, long, long days. Tomorrow's going to be more mellow. We're going to stay local here and do some um, antique stores and maybe some pawn shops if there are some pawn stores. And there's a few sales and things here. We're not going back up in the crazy loop. We're gonna head home. We've got three and a half, four hour drive home too. So tomorrow will be more mellow. I'm sure we'll have fun. We gotta pack everything up too. It's like here, all the way to there, over there. This pile got bigger. So pretty good haul. Some more fun things today. Some things we showed, some things we didn't get to show. <sighs> Pick wild list off and we had fun. Gonna need some rest. Dealer out. Hey Wheeler! Dealer Production! <laughs>